Hey guys, what's up? So today we are going to be reviewing the Star 200 T2 by Katefo audio and video equipment. I would like to thank Katefo for sending this product for us to review. So like what I said, this is called the Star 200 T2. It is a ultra compact 2.5 gigahertz dual channel digital wireless microphone. So 2.5 gigahertz microphones or wireless microphones like this, which has been a trend ever since the release of the Rode Wireless Go, has been a game changer. Now you can use small little microphones with attached internal microphones as your main source of audio because before you had no choice but to use those big wireless transmitters and receivers like the Rode Filmmaker Kit, the wireless microphones from Rode, but now you are you have an opportunity to use smaller microphones such as this. So 2.5 gigahertz microphones tend to be a little bit smaller like it can be like this size, but UHF signals or UHF microphones tend to be a little bit bigger, but they are more stable. But then again, as long as you stay within the means of the signal uh, reliability of this microphone, you should be good. Yeah, let's go ahead and unbox it. So I like the all black um, packaging of this box. So here we have the instruction manual. Here we have the receiver. We have two transmitters. We have a box full of accessories. A warranty card. So inside the accessories box we get a TRS to TRRS cable which means you can use this with smartphones and tablets, iPads or whatever. We have a TRS to TRS cable which you will be using for your cameras, camcorders, audio recorders, such sort. We have three Type-C charging cables because these things are charged using Type-C. We have two lavalier microphones which attach to the transmitters and another Type-C cable. Interesting. So they gave us not three, but four Type-C cables. Wow. <laughs> I don't know why you would need um, four Type-C cables, but it's very interesting to have. So first let's examine the receiver. So the receiver, as you can see, is very small. It's almost comparable to a USB stick. This is a USB stick and this is the receiver. Look how small they both are. So you can expect that this will be very travel friendly and you don't need to worry about carrying a big audio kit. And this receiver is charged via USB Type-C, 5 volts. On the right side we have nothing. On the left side we have a pairing mechanism that you can use to pair with the transmitters. On the top we have real-time audio monitoring. You can plug in a pair of earphones and you can listen to the audio as it is being fed into the camera. And here we have the audio TRS to TRS cable input and output. So this is basically the TRS cable. You can use whichever side you want. You can just plug it in like that. And as you can see, there is like a little mechanism here, like a clip thing. What this serves is that if you do have a camera like this, and cameras sometimes have hot shoes over here, right? All you need to do is just unclip clip this and you have a hot shoe over here and you just basically slide it in while you're clipping, just like that. And now this plugs into your camera. And now you have a very neat way to put a microphone on top of your camera. Very sleek, very clean. So that is the receiver. Let me put it aside here. So let's quickly talk about the transmitters. So we get two, which is good because this is a dual lavalier or micro wireless microphone system. That is actually awesome because with the Rode Wireless Go 1, they only had one transmitter, which was a little bit disappointing because some people like to do interviews with two people. So same with the receiver. There are two uh, USB Type-C charging slots. Here we have the pairing mechanism that you can use in conjunction with the receiver. And on the top, you can see we have microphone inputs over here. So if you use the included level of your microphones, you can actually just plug it into like this. Just simply plug it in. And you can get like a small little filmmaker <laughs> level year kit. And as you can see, you can get two dual microphone systems for this wireless setup. So just in case you haven't noticed, you can see these small little silver things. These are the integrated microphones. So even if you don't 
want to use the lavalier microphone, you can simply clip this onto your shirt using the clips like these, and you can just clip it onto your talent and you can get audio that way without using any lavalier microphone, which is awesome because it just makes everything so simple. Everything becomes a lot easier. You don't need to clip a lavalier microphone to your subject or to your talent and yeah that makes it a lot easier so the next part of this video we are going to be doing some audio tests with the katefo wireless microphone kit the dual lavalier microphone kit so stay tuned for that this is a test of the katefo star 200 t2 and yeah i'm just using the integrated internal microphone of this lavalier system so i'm going to do a simple audio test i'm using my sony a6400 with six settings on the audio recording level. So I'm just gonna be reading the back part of the box so we can just gauge the audio and just listen in. So Katefo Star 200 is a new generation 2.5, 2.4 gigahertz wireless microphone system, dual channel for capturing audio with dual subjects to your smartphones, tablets, DSLR cameras, consumers, camcorders, PCs, etc. So now I'm going to switch over and install a lavalier microphone on this and let's see if there's a difference with audio quality. So this is a test for the Star 200 T2 with the wireless lavalier system over here and I plugged in a lavalier microphone. So we are going to test if there's a difference in audio quality. I'm going to try to speak in the same volume as I did without the lavalier microphone and I'm just going to read the same thing off of the box. So the Katefo Star 200 is a new generation 2.4 gigahertz wireless microphone system, dual channel for capturing audio with dual subjects to your smartphones, tablets, DSLR cameras, consumer camcorders, PCs, and etc. So that was a test with the Katefo Star 200 T2 with a lavalier microphone installed. So I'm going to switch back to the internal microphone so we can wrap up the video and give you my final thoughts about this product. Okay, so now we're back to using the internal microphone of the Star 200 T2. So I hope you guys like that simple review. Um, what do you guys think of the audio? If you guys like it, please do comment down below and let me know your thoughts. This was just a simple audio test. I never really tested this microphone out before yet, so you can rest assured that I'm giving you my unbiased opinion. I'm, I haven't really prepared anything. This was completely unplanned. So what you hear is what you get. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this simple review. Thank you Katefo for sending this Star 200 T2 out for review. So if you guys want to watch more reviews like this, please do subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video.